Hey everyone, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to check out the Synchron Smart Orchestra from Vienna Symphonic Library. Now as far as the use case for this particular library, they advertise it as to be kind of the ultimate sketching library. So it's got the full orchestra laid across this entire range of the keyboard so you can kind of split things up that way. And it has sounds from duality strings, from the Big Bang Orchestra woodwinds, uh, sections and 2D woodwinds, 2D choir from Big Bang Orchestra, and then unpitched percussion from Synchron Percussion 1. So it's got the world-class samples, it's just simplified, and it's made to be used for sketching things quickly. Also of note that they recorded new samples, new performances of solo instruments specifically for this library. So there is some brand new content in there while a lot of it is repackaged from their bigger libraries. There is some new stuff. It'll take up only about 20 gigabytes of space on your hard drive. This is a brand new library. It will cost you 245 euros full price, but it is on a special discount intro price of 175 euros through October 2nd, 2023. All right, so here I have it loaded up in the Synchron player. So as you can see, I've got orchestra, orchestra and choir, just strings, just woodwinds, just brass, just choir, then choir and strings, and timpani. Now there's a separate instrument here for 2D ensembles and the soloists. So we're going to try to play through everything here. You'll notice we have a more stripped down version of articulations. There's no legato here for the ensembles. And here we have the entire 2D orchestra all together at once. So let's dive in and listen to what everything sounds like. So you will notice I have percussion up here at the top, which is part of what I mentioned earlier. We kind of have things laid across the keyboard. So I've got percussion up there and you can, you know, play things in live or sketch with it. Or if you're doing a live performance and you can have the percussion up here, including rolls. And then the rest of the orchestra down here. Just stuff like that. So that was staccato notes for the whole orchestra. Now we have pizzicato for the strings and then staccatos for the rest of it.
All right, so there you had to listen to pretty much everything that this library has to offer. Now, I will note that the coolest thing about it to me is the Smart Orchestra, Smart Orchestra 2D and Solo instruments, okay? So that's what I was doing at the end. Now, there are a lot of combinations for this. So you can have the full orchestra, orchestra and choir, just strings, just woodwinds, and then you get a solo instrument in the higher register. So that's the stuff I was playing, you know, with the solo flute and clarinet and all that stuff. The solo flute, legato, trumpet, and horn sounds really good. I didn't like the oboe and clarinet legato as much, but it's it's totally passable. You know, the, all the instruments sound good. Um, you heard the mic positions at the end, again, more limited than, the, you know, the full-fledged synchron libraries, close, classical, long, and lush. But then, of course, you have kind of more detail control over each thing so you get violins then a close mic for each one so you can dial in your own mic mixes for pretty much all of these they have a, a kind of a deca tree for each instrument or each ensemble and then also close mics for them as well so you heard it there um then you also get the solo full register so for instance if i got the orchestra down here solo flute The solo flute only goes down to that C. And it might not be the full, um, you know, the full octave range. There it was, but so, you know, the oboe would go down more. Clarinet would go down past the C. Stuff like that. You do have access to those as well. I think it's a great library. Um, I, I could definitely tell as I'm playing it that you're going to get, you know, stripped back. Not as much round robins, not as much mic positions, not as many articulations. You know, they have one type of short staccato as opposed to spiccato tight, spiccato bold, agile, all that kind of stuff. But for what it is, I think it's really good. I really do like the choir as well. I think for some of you... Um, even if you're not invested in, you know, Synchron and BSL, like having just the choir on its own or, you know, just the strings from duality strings, just even if it's just sustains and short notes, I think that's going to be, you know, pretty, pretty good to get it for all of that price. Um, so I do like this library. Uh, I can definitely tell it's made for sketching, not as detailed. It's not supposed to be though, obviously. Um, so for what it is, I do really like it a lot. The only minor critique I would have is I wasn't a fan of the solo oboe at full dynamics and same with the clarinet, but the fact that you get multiple dynamic layers and everything is pretty, pretty nice as well for such a inexpensive library. So let us know what you think. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.